Um, hello everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use a PlayStation 3 controller, DualShock 3, or six, or regular 6-axis, on your Mac to use an emulator such as 64s, which is a great N64 emulator for Mac, and then other ones, I don't remember what they're called by heart, but I have the Super Nintendo one, and regular Nintendo, and all the other ones, and it, I'm pretty sure it'll work with, like, the, with Visual Boy Advanced, for Game Boy Advanced and Game Boy Color. But what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go to a, whoops, a website, which I will put in the description, called taddyboggle.net, and then home projects to PS3 controller, and then you can read this little synopsis of it, and then download version point zero one, which is a driver. You, you're going to download it, save file. As you see, it's the third time I've done this because I messed up on the video earlier. My microphone cut out. Let it do its thing. I don't know where that went. Um. Um. Oh, there we go. Then, ah, dang it. Where did it go? There we go. Sorry. You double click on that, and then it'll walk you through with introduction, readme, license, blah, blah, blah. Put it on your hard drive. Put your password in. Yada, yada, yada. Same old stuff. And then, we're going to eject that because that ruins everything. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your PS3 controller. This does not work wirelessly, so which is fine with me because it's a laptop, so it's going to be within the distance of a normal cord. I, I just have the one foot one right now, but you're going to plug your USB cord in, your MacBook, and then you're going to plug it into your PS3 controller. Make sure your PS3 is unplugged, or if you have a uh, fat PS3, you flip the switch off in the back on a slim, you unplug the power cord, otherwise as soon as you hit the power button or the PSN button to sync, it'll cut on your PS3. And then, I'm going to open this back up. I don't know what's wrong with it, but what I'm going to do is hold down the PlayStation Network button on the controller for about 5 seconds, and it should be able to pop up and see it didn't pop up. Hang on, I'll relaunch 64. Holding it down. Gonna go to configure controllers. There it is, PlayStation 3 controller, controller number one. And then you can do everything as you'd have to go through and see what it, which each one does. Right now, it's on default controls. Like left stick is a normal stick for N64. Right stick is a C or is a C buttons. I'm pretty sure. L1 and R1 are the left and right buttons. L2 is the Z button, and that's that and then I don't I find it a lot better to play with than using a um, uh, than just using a keyboard and PS3 controllers are by far one of the most comfortable controllers in my opinion compared to like buying a controller because I own a controller that is specifically made for playing on computers and it sucks horribly <laughs> but yeah I mean you can just open recent Paper Mario that'll work I don't ever play this on here just because I own it in 64. But it should it'll open right up. Paper Mario is a, not a good running ROM on this. I'm pretty sure it doesn't run very yeah, it doesn't run very good on Windows because back when I had a XP partition, it would do the same thing. I'm pretty sure it's just a ROM. But as you see it works. Just start by start, I'll stick does all that. That's that. Oh, and the keyboard still works, so you might want to turn that off to disable it because Command is still the A button. But I'm going to escape out of that. And this has been me. <laughs> if you guys have any questions, just leave a um, comment and I will get back to you.